What's going on everybody? Mando Trading here and today is Friday, June 16th. Uh, I'm going to review some uh, price action from today on a couple key names that I've been charting and posting on Twitter for the last couple of weeks. Um, this will be the second edition of me doing this on Twitter and on YouTube, but um, the first one I tried, uh, my computer didn't save the video, so I just had it with the audio and a backdrop of some still images so here you'll be able to actually see me um, go through um, where I'm charting and things of that nature so um, anyways to start we have Apple on the 30 minute time frame again I know I spoke about this and I'll probably say it a hundred times more but I like the 30 minute chart um, I you know I, I typically use the 30 5 and under um, with the lowest being the one minute chart um, the reason why I don't really look for too much on a higher time frame than the 30 minute is because I do scalp. So anything above that 30, I feel like, you know, even if a move may present itself, it might take too long um, for me to trade. And again, I'm scalping 90% of the time. So I'm looking at uh, tighter time windows for sure. So here's Apple. Um, we will go to Friday, right? here okay so friday open so following yesterday's uh, move we had identified two key areas of liquidity with uh, sell side being underneath this 184.57 and buy side above the 186.52 now i'll tell you guys why that's important in just a few seconds here um anyway so four o'clock our pre-market open we have this um, bouncing this is the gap down candle bouncing from this in our support level that was formed yesterday at 1.30. Um, as you can see, we trickle back down into it before running up, taking liquidity to the upside here and immediately knifing back down. So the reason why I said this was important was because uh, a lot of people who like to trade the breakouts actually get smoked. Um, and the reason being, um, this is just a liquidity grab. Um, the breakout traders and breakout trades um, oftentimes they don't play out unless you're relatively quick. I mean, this was 30 minutes. Could you have gotten out up here for sure? Um, but oftentimes, um, I'm looking for a volume imbalance or just another straight up bullish imbalance to the upside, um, for me to feel confident that this will be a continuation move and not just taking stop losses and yanking us back down. So anyways, we make our move back down and if you look pretty closely here we do have a very very little imbalance right here and an imbalance being just no wick into that area so we have a wide open space in that um, thick level right there um, as you can see this night brings us all the way back down to our pre-market support which we wicked into a lower support level here at 9 30 from Thursday um, and we bounce, we bounce back up to that very minor imbalance right there. And we reject it back into support, reject it, tried to get above it, did not close above back into support. And one more time for good measure, we run back up to that level before rejecting. Now, as we're fading here, you can see we finally melt down below the support level into that 930 support from the other day. And look what happens when we take sell side liquidity right here. We wick through that swing low, and look what happens. We pop right back up. So the breakout artist there would be uh, smoked yet again. So for me, this level here that we had as support for most of the day, we did close below it. Therefore, I will remove it from my chart and add any missing imbalances. Uh, I'll also be putting this as a annotation for buy side liquidity above this level. Also, I will be moving our sell side as we already took out that low. This would be our new low right here. So our new low is 184.27. New high that was formed today is 187.37. And here it's time to throw on some imbalances. So our first right in here. And if you look closely, we also have a volume imbalance in there. You see that gap in between these two candles. I will also note that as being a stronger resistance level. And 
We have another here, which we have no bodies closed above. Again, the wicks are just giving you a heart attack. The bodies are what's actually happening. Um, so we close up today, ending in support. And here is the finished product on this Apple 30-minute chart. And these are my levels that I'll be looking at into uh, Tuesday. No market on Monday. So, all right, on to the next Tesla so let's see, Tesla is another one that I've been looking at for quite some time now. So just to rewind here, we have um, Thursday, 9.30 imbalance candle, and we create a support level in here. Notice how I am pulling my support. So we have the wick to here, we have the wick to here inside, and in between these two wicks, we have nothing going on in here other than a big green candle. Um, so we can look at that as support or a springboard. Now, I did not create these concepts. I just used them. I've seen that they are excellent. And if you look through my Twitter, you will see the same. Um, are highly effective and set really nice parameters for a trade. For example, if you wanted to go long and after you see this imbalance form, you can wait for price to retrace back into that imbalance. Um, to take along knowing that your stop loss would be here, for example, right? Or whatever you want it to be. If you want it to be the next level down, sure, whatever works. But it is a nice way to set some parameters for your trade and um, kind of define your risk prior to entry. So anyways, if we take a look on a pre-market candle right here at 4 o'clock on Friday, we do gap up through this small little... Uh, resistance zone that I had from Thursday afternoon. So what I'll do is add this level right here and note that as a volume imbalance, bullish volume imbalance, meaning there was quite a bit of um, desire to go to the upside. Um, now in the process here, we um, start to chop around just a hair leading into uh, New York Open or 9.30 Eastern. Um, our first attempt at breaking through this bearish imbalance right here. We wick up and through before closing inside, filling this imbalance. Next candle, we take off. Now, um, as you can see, we slice through resistance here. We get up into a previous liquidity level here, which was from old liquidity level. Um, this was from Tuesday. Um, sometimes I keep them on just to see uh, how they play. And clearly this one um, clearly played out. Um, and that led to our rejection there. Down back into our previous resistance. Now turn support. So I don't like to take these off um, while the day is going on for this reason. I'd like to see, you know, if I'm a bull, that uh, price will come back down retest an old resistance level and turn that support and as you can see it does so here and we run back higher up again up through our um resistance level before we get rejection here and look where we settle back into this resistance level which i'm going to view as support moving into next tuesday um we held the candle uh the bottom of that imbalance here and we trickled our way back higher. Now, we also have relative equal highs, which uh, a lot of retail traders were taught that that's actually going to act as, uh, you know, a resistance. But, um, you know, from what I've learned, what I see, um, oftentimes relative equal highs will lead to uh, price actually going up and expanding through those highs into liquidity, which would be on Tesla at 264.87. So that's uh, my area of interest going into Tuesday for Tesla. Now I only got 10 minutes and there's about 30 seconds left. So um, if you like these videos, please like it, um, you know, share it, retweet it and do whatever. If you're on YouTube, like and subscribe, I'll keep doing these. But um, also, if you have any um, you know, suggestions on names that I could do. I'll typically do Apple and Tesla just because they're um, the two that I'm pretty much charting every day. But other than that, I'm open to any other names. So 
Uh, Until next time, good luck, enjoy the weekend, and we'll talk soon.